what is up guys i'm going to show you how to install hack g on your wii u and i am running the latest version or latest wii u firmware version that is 5.5.2 e just to show you guys all right so i have to use the wii u gamepad to go on the settings it won't let me output it to the tv so yeah, like I said, check what version you have over here. Make two connections. Click to the internet. Like I said, this one has the DNS uh, settings. Under DNS, do not obtain. And this IP here, or primary DNS, is the European uh, the one that's good for European users um, but there's also a another primary DNS which I'll link in the description below and I was just going to tell you is 168.235.92.108 then you want to put on the secondary is 081.4.127.2 Two zero. There are also like other ways of blocking updates. But this is the main one that I'm using that seems to be working fine. So confirm if you want to. Whoops! If you want to switch, like let's say you want to update a game. Um, to play to play online or any other updates then you want to create another Wi-Fi connection this one has auto obtain so when you go on the eShop it will load up it won't come up with an error and you can update but just check whether or not um, there has been a major Wii U Wii U OS update firmware Make sure that there isn't one, just in case of breaking, breaking your Wii U. Alright, so after you've, you have done your blocking updates, next you want to get your SD card. Um, like I said, make sure it's the right size. If your Wii U is a 32 gigabyte, then you would need a 64 gigabyte SD card. If it's anything lower than 32, then a 32 gigabyte will be enough. Um, download this application here or this program called GUI format find what drive it is in this case mine is G uh, don't worry about the allocation size and then you just click on start I've already done this so I'm not going to show you it just formats it to the right um, the right file format pat 32 and then you want to make sure to rename your SD card with like uh, anything with lower cases or without a name in order for your Wii U to read it. Like I said, I'll post the link to download this program here. Once you've done that, you will have your formatted drive. And these are all the programs that you need to, or files that you need to have in your SD card. And what I've done here is I just extracted all of it onto the card, onto the root of the card. And I've put all the files in the right places. So wherever you like, I just um, unpacked App Store 15, and then it says Apps, and then I just cut it, paste it, and it will paste it under the Wii U, because that's where the Apps folder is, and paste it, and it will just rewrite or place the right folders where it should be. So these are all the latest updates for the programs, and I will post a link 
below is all you need to run the homebrew launcher which we'll get to into the next part once you've done this like so your sd card should look like this you don't really need to have the zip files in there you can delete them if you want but i just keep it on there just in case so unmount your sd card and put it into your wii u and then we'll get on to the next stage once you've done all that now we want to go into the eShop. this is where we are now so in order to run any kind of home rule on the system you would need to, a way to execute unsigned code this is the initial hack that is the gateway or entry point to homebrew and game loaders so in this case you need to purchase a virtual console game and the, the one that the most people use is dr kawashima's brain training which is that's what it's known in europe it's also known as brain age train your brain in minutes a day um, in like the us or other parts of the world so that is what we're going to find now i guess it's like the cheapest game to get on here version you need is the DS, the original DS version. Oh, such a brain training. So by buying this game, you're basically um, going to install Hackchi over this game, which means this game will be completely useless afterwards and you would you don't want to delete this game either else you will probably break your wii u so this game is pretty much permanent like i said once you do this once you install hackg and everything else your wii u will become um useless or the warranty would go and if you try to resell it if someone had like if someone re actually resets it then it will break the console so if you're okay with that then purchase dr kawashima's brain training or brain age i've already done it i've already purchased it it was about six pounds something six pound thirty i think it was um, so once you've done that like you want to install it and run it at least once on your Wii U. Oh yes, I've put mine all the way to the end of the page, which I would recommend doing just in case. Oh, you can't see. Let's re switch. Right, you can see here, that's where I put the brain age or brain training right at the end of the, the folders just in case you might accidentally delete it so once that's installed at least run it once like see if it works and when you're happy with it exit the game and then you want to go on to your internet browser I think I have to switch to the to the gamepad. Oh, maybe I can just show you here. Yeah. Right, we want to change the URL. URL. This is for Wii U firmware five point five two. Just to remind you, um, it's a different method for five point five one. Oh, it's not going to come up on the capture card. 
for the website you need to put in HTTP oh no wait that's wrong up here HTTP sleep sleepy double i dot o v h click ok then this website will appear sleepy version 2 wii u 5.52 exploit at his finest i forgot to mention before i open the browser I switch back to my original um, Wi-Fi Wi-Fi address with the uh, auto obtain DNS because you need to do that to um, download and purchase the brain training game right so just click exploit and it will take a while to load I have read that this may crash and if this does crash for you then you just want to like uh, power off your Wii U or unplug it and reset it again and then keep trying it does take a while to load up just be patient with it and it should come up with the homebrew installation menu alright so all the apps have loaded now that's on the SD card it did crash once so I just reset the console and put the URL again and it loaded up fine pretty quick actually right, so just to tell you this one here CBHC code boot hack chi installer you only need that if you want um, if you want the homebrew launcher or hack chi to load up initially when you start up the console if not then you would have it will load up the normal menu first and then you have to click on the brain training app again to load up Hackchi or homebrew apps so first we're going to install Hackchi version 2.5 u2 click load it will tell you that the Dr. Kawashima brain training game here will be the game that you'll be putting Hakchi on. So you want to click A and then click click A again. And there we go, there is Hackchi over the brain training game. Just click on that. And now we can um, download our homebrew apps. saves us having to go through the browser and doing the whole link again so the homebrew app store is finally updated as you can see these are the different ca categories Click on games. I 
lots of like homebrew third party software here. We want to check out the emulators. Now we need load load line GX2 to play your Wii U backups. But that'll be on another tutorial. So that is pretty much it for the how to like install homebrew apps and Hackchi on your Wii U. I hope this tutorial has helped you. If if you have any questions then please comment below. And I'll see you again on another Wii U tutorial video. So thanks for watching guys.